brand new double P from Razorback Drain Pros. Nice solid handle, good rubber wheels, definitely a solid frame, but more importantly, one camera in, 21 mil. Second camera head, 12.8 mil. There's not a job you can't do with this camera. You can need to change this 21 mil head with a 29 mil head if you like, for your larger diameter pipes. 21 mil is perfect for 90 up to 150 mil. 12.8 mil is good from 40 mil up to 90 mil. It will do 100 mil, no drama but uh, you won't get the distance you will from the 21 mil head and the 6.8 mil cable. Let me show you. External battery cradle for Milwaukee DeWalt or Makita. Little button here on the side. This will change between your camera heads. You want to go to your 12.8 mm push it. You want to go back to your 21 mm push it. You've got inside here, you have your uh, 4.8 mil cable and your 6.8 mil cable um, neatly tucked away. Having both cameras only adds three kilos weight to the entire system. All right. What we're going to do is just show you how simply this camera will push through a gully and then one, two, three more bends. And then we'll put the 12.8mm um, camera head through that 100 by 50 floor waist and then through a couple of bends as well. A lot of people I speak to are apprehensive about putting their cameras through um, gullies or floor waist. So I just want to show you how I do it, how simple it is. One trick I do is I'll spray a little bit of silicon spray onto my camera head here under the skid and then onto the back of the, the cable here just give it a little bit more uh, slipperiness when going through gullies always use your larger 76mm skid that comes with this just stops the camera head from pushing back over itself a little bit more support the more you use your skids the better gives it the protection up out of the ship designed for a reason to use it. All right, I'll just move this out of the way a little bit and then I'll show you how simply it'll go through this truck. It's going. Now I've been using cameras for 30 years. and getting old. And I haven't really come across a camera that'll push through gullies or traps um, as easily as this. And this cable, I haven't come across cables. It's good as these red, like the stick types cables. Get a full 50 meters, no hassle. Alright, let's put it through. I'm going to take my word for it, have a look. So I'm sitting at the bottom of the gully there, it's just a simple push around. I'm through, sitting about here now. It's going to go through that. Now we're going down. I'm in that bottom bend now. I'm just going to give it a little bit. Boom, we're through. I'm at the IO. Coming through that final bend now. Okay, so it starts out easily that went through. Another little tip, when retrieving the camera head or the camera, especially through a, a, a trap, that is obviously a very acute bend. Don't pull it this way back, just pull it with the pot so that it comes nice and easy. Maintain that steady pressure to with it. Just take care of it, pull it through. And now to a pop. Okay? I'll show you again, prove it wasn't a fluke. In the bottom of the cup, and push it through. Put it through. Heading down through the top of the bend. A little bit more of a shot. Pass the IO. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, simple. Don't be scared of doing this. Just be patient. Keep it nice and easy pressure. On your face. All right, that's that. Good. Four. Going up to 
150 mils or 20 miles of the head. Okay? Again, plenty of skids that are really do help maintain the longevity of the camera head, the cable, and the screen part. All right, let's put this a little sucker through here. See how easy it does this. Sit at the bottom of the trap there now, so let's just go around. Turn around. Push. We're about to come out that bottom one, and there we are. Okay. We've got a bit more going here. Okay. Cool. She's out. This won't, of course, as far as your, your larger cable, it is a smaller cable. However, it's still good in 100mm. We'll show that in a minute. We'll go around here. If you look on that screen there, you'll see how, how clear this little camera head is. You know, it's a little beauty. It looks over with a lot of grief. And we're out. Right, let me show you what it looks like if we'll just go back up this 100 mil. People, um, don't believe me when I tell them this is suitable for 100 mil as well. Again, it's not going to push as far. It's going to sit lower in your pot, but these little camera heads are so good, it'll give you a great, a great picture. All right, just chuck and have a look on this screen here. So we're sitting in the 100 mil now, we're just going past the IO. Yeah, we're sitting low, but there's not much you can't see. Okay, this thing's got incredible visuals up close. You can see how poorly I've cut that pipe there, but you get my drift. It's vision up close, it's great. Obviously in a 100mm pipe, it's not gonna give you the full aspect of your larger ones. And of course, it's sitting low in the pipe on that skip, but she's still pretty cool. Right, we're gonna go up, up. Now, hitting the flats, and we're into the, the base of that trap. You just see, it just does a great job for it. Right, coming back down. So that's it. The double P in all its glory. External battery, internal battery, ruggedized frame, trolley handle, rubber wheels, and two camera heads in one unit. You just can't fault it. Get yours today.